In this video, we're going to take a look at matching a word problem that involves exponential growth, and we're going to match it to a graph. So our word problem says the starting annual salary for an office worker at a company is 29000 So that's going to be the starting amount. If the company awards an annual increase of 6.2%, which graph models the situation after the office worker receives X annual increases? So if I'm reading through the problem and I'm trying to match it to a graph, I'm going to look for some context clues. The first of which is that it says the starting annual salary is 29,000. That means my graph should start at 29,000 as a y value. So if I'm looking at the graph, so I'm going to cross out the answer choices that don't start anywhere near 29,000. And C definitely does not. 29,000 should be way up here as a starting salary at year zero, so it couldn't be C. D also does not start at 29,000, so it can't be D either. Looks like B starts right about 29,000, and so does A. So I've got it down to two answer choices, either A or B. The next part says that the company awards an annual increase of 6.2%. That part's a little bit trickier. There are a couple ways we could go about working this particular problem. One, you could kind of guess and check, like 6.2%, that means that it shouldn't be growing very, by very much. If something's increasing by 6%, it's not increasing by 100% every year, it's not doubling. So let's take a look at what goes on with answer choice A. From year 0 to 1, it goes up by a little bit. From year 1 to 2, it goes up by a little bit. 2 to 3, it goes up by a little bit. Kind of hard to tell, but possibly. If we look at answer choice B, you'll notice that from year 0 to 1, it goes from 30,000 to 45,000. Well, 45,000, that's 15,000 more. 30,000 to 45,000. So we're just kind of roughly guessing right here. That's a $15,000 increase. That's half again as much as the starting amount. That's a 50% increase almost. That's way more than 6.2%, so it can't be answer choice B. Now, there is another way to work this problem using your graphing calculator. But you'd have to write out the function in the form y equals a b to the x. And b is our growth factor, and a is our starting amount. Since our starting amount is 29,000, we could put 29,000 in for a. Since we're growing by 6.2%, it would be 1 plus 0 0.062, or 1.062 would be our growth factor to the x. And if we graphed our, grabbed our graphing calculator and we turned it on, went to our y equals screen, then we could graph 29,000 times 1.602, so 29,000, I know you can't see it right this second, times 1.062, close my parentheses, to an exponent of x. And if you'll take a look at it, I just typed out our function that we wrote. So if you can write out the function by hand, that's great. You can just type it into your y equals screen. And then we can go to a table, second graph, and we can kind of match the values. After year one, it should be almost 30,000. Here, if you look at after year one, it's at 45,000. This definitely could not be it. If you look after year two, it should be about 32,000. Year two, yeah, that's halfway between 30 and 35. Year 3, year 4, so on. You could keep on checking your values to make sure the graph matched, at least as best as you could tell.